What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the Urban Juggernaut, Sean Black, and we are at the officially filming the first episode, No Longer 310 TV. We are now the Back House Podcast. In memory of my grandparents, we're right here at the back house of my grandparents' home, live from my little studio, the official Amped Up studio, and we're doing big things. Welcome, 2021. And as you see, it got a little crowded in there, so we had to do a little outside version, but we making it happen. We got hoodies on, we got hats. We sipping, we having a good time, we fellowshipping, and that's what pro wrestling is all about. And also, we touch on uh, everything from all aspects of Los Angeles to SoCal, anything positive uh, that's going on in people's lives, anything, uh, any activities, entrepreneurship, anything that inspires and motivates people. That's what this podcast interview show is all about. And without further ado, today we got a lot of wrestling going on. A whole lot of gang ish, not playing. <laughs> Uh, we got a uh, very, very special guest. We got some vets in the game. And we also got a Greco Roman wrestler who's doing some big things today and his friend. So we're going to go around the table with my man, Terex Jovan. Jovan Fred. <laughs> hey, world famous human tornado. And some of y'all know him from the fight world and the, and, the, uh, and the wrestling scene. We got my man, the PBA. Slash Aquaman, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to this episode. Oh, you're gonna go around the table, we're going around the table to my man Terex. Terex, please introduce yourself and let everybody know you've been in the game for many, many years. Uh one of those un like I said, uh you know international world might not know you, but you've been do very dominant on the SoCal scene. It's just the regional Vegas, Arizona up north, all that, and you had quite the legacy. So let us know a little something about you. How you guys doing? My name's Terex. They call me the definition of pain. That's exactly what I do. I dish out mass amounts of pain. I'm a monster on many levels. Yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not what you call an athlete, but I'm definitely athletic. Go ahead and look me up. Definition of pain, you will find out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. My name is Jonathan Smith, um, 2019 Fargo champion current wrestler right now, doing a lot of things to my father. This is my friend Angel, he's a great guy to introduce himself in a second, call me Mr. J. You know, I'm known for dishing out like the special kind of pain, the special kind of pain when you hurt people and put them on their necks because I like it. I really <laughs> like it, I like it. Uh, are you going to say something? Uh, yeah, what's up, I'm Angel, um, started wrestling two years ago, been training with my boy John right here, trying to be the best I can, and that's it. And yeah, we all know this guy. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> All right. I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Taurus. <laughs> and I'm not a jealous guy. Like long beat, long beat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, you want real facts? Okay, other than that cool human stuff, like on the regular, it's like, yeah, I wrestled for like at least like 15 years around the SoCal area and around the world. I mean, it was pretty fun while it lasted, but my back hurts like really, really bad right now. Really bad. And I'm retired. There you go. I'm here to laugh at that, but man, just the way that you had to throw that one out there. And I'm retired. And I'm retired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What's good? What's good? I'm, I'm, I'm your boy, the PBA. You know, the Philadelphia badass, originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Out here, you know, on the West Coast, West Coast, best coast, you know what I mean? L.A., Inglewood, SoCal, you know, doing my thing. Been out here for a minute, you know what I mean? L.A.'s always showed me a lot of love. You know, ex-military, then from the military, got into the world of uh, mixed martial arts, cage fighting, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You know, I'm a brown belt under Sean Giabero. You know, Ricardo Wilkie under, you know, formerly the uh, independent jiu-jitsu, formerly under the Hibero, uh Jiu-Jitsu Association. So you've got um, a doctorate and whoop your ass. Too. Exactly. <laughs> Blackout's <laughs> MMA headquarters, professional MMA fight record of 10 wins, 2 losses, amateur record 7 and 1. Uh, from there, ended up uh, going to uh, professional wrestling, trained under uh, David Heath, also known as Gangrel, the Vampire Warrior, uh, Sim Bodhi, and then uh, the Black Pearl, uh, Reno Anawaii, and then also Rikishi, you know, Junior Solo for uh -huh. Rikishi Fatu, you know. Yeah, Some record? accolades right there. Some yeah, accolades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And 10 and 2 pro. Ten and two. Oh yeah. my. No, I'm so, telling you, that's a doctorate and whoop your ass is what that is. You know, <laughs> it just, you know, hey man, I don't believe in circumstances or happenstance. You know what I mean, things happen for a reason. 
and pre-appointed times, places, whatever. If it's all this has got with us, so if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. As long as you put the right foot forward, you keep, you know, making the moves and putting the work ethic in. You know, the opportunities with Rikishi and Knox Pro and all that. You know, led me to the water Hollywood. Got my big break with Adam Sandler, Terry Crews, 2017 Netflix film. Sandy Wexler did all the stunts, all the pro wrestling stuff or whatever, along with some of the other homies. Uh, Shad Gaspar, you know, from Crime Time. You know, the rest in peace, rest big Shad. Party, we love man. you. You know, and uh, man, you know, pro wrestling is it's a lifestyle. It's a brotherhood, you know, especially with brothers like this. You come across, you know, going to trust you to put their bodies on the line and vice versa. You trust each other and you go and you put on a performance. And you putting butts in the seats and you making, you know, putting smiles on faces. And that's what it's all about, end of the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we did something real special today. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, just... Uh, uh, one thing about this podcast, we, like I said, not only tapped into wrestling, we tapped into, you know, unity and just fellowshipping and all that. So today was a uh, real solid day. And uh, we're going to keep this going. Uh, Tarek, so you've, uh, like I said, you've been just, uh, like I said earlier, you've been staple. Matter of fact, you were at my first, second, no, second match. Outside of training, I'll never forget. You had just won the belt. It was over at You probably won't remember this. But you had just won the Mach 1 belt. And uh, it was me and Ryan Ramos versus Pinky. And what was that guy? He used, to, he used to have the wrestling rings. He was at Santino sometimes. But Pinky and this guy, I forgot his name. But he used to, he used to have wrestling rings anyway. And I remember uh, you were nice. I met you and you showed, you showed me... Uh, how to do? I was gonna take the what was that move? The emerald, uh, the emerald fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I remember, I remember, I was confused about taking it because I just Breaking like wrestling school, and I remember you walked up, and you were very helpful to everybody in the locker room. So that's one of my first Terry memories. But you didn't had history way before that because I, I jumped on the gate in 2010. So how long have you been in the game? 15 years. 15 years come September. We last September was 15 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've been doing this for a hot minute. But my my personal uh, experience with this whole thing, if you don't teach the younger guys right, you know the new generation coming up, where is our business gonna go? Yeah. So they, it, it's a huge thing to pass down what you've learned and pass it down the right way. Yeah. Like, and it doesn't necessarily you don't have to pick and choose. Everybody's gonna have people that gravitate to them a little bit more than others, but yeah. you know, like you need to help out as many people as you can. Teach as many people the right way as you can. Otherwise, our our, our business is going to go to hell. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, and uh, what's one more thing I was going to say? Uh, where did you who who trained you? Uh, Jesse Hernandez at School Hard Knocks back in uh, 05 is when I got my start. It was in uh, OG, like September that. of 05. Good old Jesse, man. <laughs> That's the name, man. I, and I was looking into the School of Hard Knocks when I was. 16 years old, like I already knew that's where I was going to go once I finally got the opportunity to get into wrestling, and that's exactly where I went. Like, that's dope, man, because uh, my time period getting out of high school, I don't know where to start. The only thing I knew was the Shawn Michaels Wrestling Academy, mm -hmm. and then the XPW Asylum had closed down, so. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, like, when AOL 2.0 came out, bro, <laughs> 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 yeah. That was that Dialogue. was the thing right there. And then, <laughs> yeah. man, man, I'm telling you, your mom be yelling at you because you're trying to yeah. get on the phone, mm -hmm. or yeah. you're trying to get on the internet. She's mm -hmm. trying to get on the phone. You know, like, thank God, and it took five minutes to upload a fuck, uh, upload a page from the school of hard knocks because without that, I probably wouldn't have known exactly like how to get into it, man. Yeah, yeah, I found out about Knox Pro in MySpace, but then Knox Pro was real expensive. So yeah. I went, and then somebody told me about Santino. So shout out to uh, I was like Santino's. Yeah. Phenomenal school in itself, yeah. man. I was at the backyard. Shout out to yeah. Chaos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll Shout out to yeah. Joey. Oh my God, the backyard days. They, they made us. Man, <laughs> man. man I'm telling you right now, if, if I were to get into wrestling right now and Santino's is where I would mm -hmm. go, let me tell you what, I'm not sure I would even make it anymore. Like, they, they, make, they do it all the right way. Oh, yeah. They do it 100%. Like, back when I was young, I, I believe I could have got oh, through yeah. it. But if I get into right now, yeah. Joey's gonna stretch me. I, I don't even know if I'd be able yeah. to do it, but that is that is one of the one of the top Bro. notch places that you can possibly learn from. I threw Shout up. Out to I threw up. Almost thought about quitting everything. They put you through the ringer, bro. 
Shout out to Santino. And, 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 that's, and, that, and that's why they make winners, yeah. man. Like, that's yeah. why they make winners. And it's still and like, it knocks, yeah. man. Like, they, love, they, yeah. have, they have a reputation like no other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know so many of those at Black oh, yeah. Pearl. Like, I know... Uh, um, yeah, Jake Fatu. Yeah, Jake Fatu's I mean, I, I mean, I know yeah. a lot of those guys, man. I've known them for a long time. The the lineage that they have and the way that they do it also is 100 yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Shout out to you for even making it, man. Yeah, like, good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Knox Pro, man. Oh yeah. Um, so switching over a little bit to Greco Roman, just tell us, like I said, you've been making big strides. A lot of people aren't familiar. Like I said, you know, it's, it's a pro wrestling podcast, but we still. Like I said, anybody can give him a all that, and we got our roots. You know what I mean? The roots, yeah. you know, catch this catch can going back yeah, to yeah. the Greco Roman and freestyle and just yeah, because that's what, yeah, that's what we learned when we first stepped mm-hmm. in the ring was the, mm-hmm. the rolling around. So just tell us about like I said, you making you doing big things. Just give people a little sample of uh, what you, you told us your accolades, but how you got into it and what is the future for you? All right. Well, man, it was a whole 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 process getting into it. Originally, how I got into grappling, MMA, and it's right here through my father, Fernando Moreira, the PBA. He, when I was a kid, you know, he put me in, me and my brother, we had way too much energy, you know, we'd jump around the house, and we, we were just breaking stuff, you know, and it's like, like, why break my stuff when you can just break humans and limbs, and <laughs> it's like, people like that, and my dad's like, her, like, you'll learn how to have some discipline, and how to have some respect, and not break my stuff at home. Uh, <laughs> about 10 years later, uh, Jonathan Smith becomes the face of USA Wrestling for some reason in California, and I'm um, a national championship deep and six state titles in. And, so, and if I may interject, the greatest wrestler, the greatest high school wrestler ever come out of LA. to ever come out of the city of Los Angeles. Let's go! And, argue, and then on top of that, he's a brother. And then on top of that, arguably, debatably, the greatest amateur wrestler to come out of California, you know, with these accolades. I mean, six California state titles. Yeah, give me Greco, a couple more style and freestyle, like, like <laughs> out there getting it is what he's doing. Out there hey, getting, getting it. Come on getting it dominating. <laughs> talk about Tiger Woods. Talk about Serena and Venus Williams. Talk about Michael Jordan, whoever else. Jonathan Smith. Like, he should be the face of USA wrestling. Yeah, and, I mean, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I come from a father who comes from the streets, you know, who comes from the hood and comes from all things that aren't that good, you know, and I managed to break my way through and, you know, make something for myself. But, you know, how I really got into it in about high school, you know, my, my goal was always to join the wrestling team when I got around high school because, you know, that was the top sport for me because, you know, you could punch people in the face, but you could also wrestle. Everybody has a choice. You know, a lot of people didn't like wrestling because they thought it was gay. You know, you wear your leotard, you roll around. You know, it's and, a singlet. Yeah. It's a proper wrestling attire. Exactly. Exactly. This dude said a leotard. He said a leotard. This is your son. <laughs> that, that, that's what he said. He did. He did. He's in a leotard. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. I'm messing with you. It's a it's proper it's wrestling it's attire. That's what he was. Everybody's thinking, like, you know, it's, it's balls to the button, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know why. Not too much. You know, no, it's more like cracked skulls and broken necks, you know, where I'm from. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is. So I got started, you know, it, it was a whole lot of different situations. There's a whole lot of uh, politics inside of wrestling, especially when I was first getting into my team, you know. There was the top guys, the little guys, the smaller guys. And I was just one of those guys. I was able to beat up everybody. I figured maybe I should make something more of it. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. I can feel that, bro. I feel I was it. able to beat everybody up. So I'm like, all right, let me go. About four years in, I'm doing pretty good. I go ahead. I win my city titles, my regionals. But that's small Three baby consecutive. stuff. Three consecutive. Three back to back, back to back, back. City, L.A. city titles. Like I said, that's what we call out there getting it. Three years in a row, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, and then four years in a row, 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade, four consecutive L.A. region two titles. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. are we sitting at the same table? I feel wow. like I shouldn't even be this close to you. He's like doing it, man. He's breathing, sitting like stuff. you're going to put me in a chokehold yeah, yeah. and put me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call me the definition of pain. Like, right now I'm the definition of worry a little bit. That's the philosophy. <laughs> it, 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 it permeates throughout and echoes throughout the sands and the winds of time. Yeah. Well, although, what the next big thing for me, what I'm worried about, all I'm worried about is going to the Olympics. I've been training, yes. I've been working. It's just yeah. utter domination. I just want to 100%. destroy it. Go, let's go, let's go. Goals, man. Goals. 
You know, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to pass on all my knowledge to this guy right here. He's a young one coming up, but I got a, I got a real feeling. Like everybody, watch out! This kid right here is gonna be something dangerous. You know, so my next big thing is making the Olympics and winning the Olympics. That's it. And then after that, do some pro wrestling. Probably win a couple belts. You know, some UFC. Probably win a couple belts. Hey. I'm coming for all of you out here. Ooh. All of you. Yo, hey, man. Me. Goals are important, Every bro. Last person is Goals are important. Me. So yes, you sir. watch out for the name Jonathan Smith, because I'm coming for you. 270 pounds of angry black man right there. <laughs> <laughs> so my man, you're his protege. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, did, how did you meet him, and what's your future? Oh, so I started wrestling. Not in, the bad stories. In, <laughs> <laughs> so I started wrestling in high school. And, like, this guy was a legend. Like, the coach, like, he would always bring up this guy right here. Um, He'd be oh. like, you want to be like him. Oh, get out of here. So then one day he came by, like, from... From college, he came by to come visit, and everyone, and he just came walking by to like all the freshmen. Came, he started giving everyone hugs, <laughs> and then he picked out me and two of my uh, my mentors to go practice with him privately, and that's how we met. And I saw him post something on Instagram like three weeks ago to go practice privately with him and a jujitsu coach. I was like, all right, why not? So I went with this man. And <laughs> so uh, now we're doing jujitsu and wrestling, and I'm just trying to get better on my wrestling, then jujitsu, and if I could get good at that, then boxing, hopefully MMA. There you go. Oh, there you yeah. go. Let's go. There you go. And we are here to support you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, now you know the studio, and even for Donovan, you know, we got, we'll, we'll be here, you know what I'm saying? So whatever y'all need, and I can't wait. You go to the Olympics, bro. I, you bad man, if you go to the Olympics, I'm gonna ride your coat. I'm gonna ride your coat, bro. I'm gonna tell he's everybody. Like, I know this kid. He's an LA native, so mm -hmm. focus, objective, not goals. You know, what I mean, I like the word objective, like a military mindset. Objective. You set objectives, you execute the objectives, you implement strategy to execute the objectives. But LA Angelino native. See, like that's 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. That's when it all comes that, to the That to me is how I implement That's That to me is the definition of a goal. Goals can be attained. Mm -hmm. Dreams are something that you want. Mm -hmm. Goals are always attained. Like Me, I always wanted to be a wrestler. I thought it was going to be a dream until I made it a goal that yeah. was accomplished. Oh, yeah. And now I just have more and more that I want to do. Yeah. So yeah. Goals, goals 100%. Goals, oh, then yeah. it, 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 along the same lines, man. It, oh, yeah. As long as like, you can dream anything you want, but mm -hmm. goals are something that you oh, end yeah. up getting. Yeah. yeah, I dig that. All right, all right. One of the main events. Well, here we Greg. go. <laughs> give us, give us, Mr. So, uh, so uh, we know we uh, Nacho Libre. Uh, what's that? What was that? Uh, Wrestling Society X, uh, Ring of Honor. Uh, you have Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Pro Wrestling Gorilla. You have a very, very storied career. It was all. It's funny. My story with Craig is, it, I, like, he. Um, uh, there's a top ten list, and one of the top ten reasons of me getting into wrestling was. Him uh, seeing him and Nacho Libre doing a damn thing, <laughs> so that's when I, that was when I was on the hunt of looking for wrestling schools. Like that was like, okay, I'm going to go into wrestling, and I saw I saw his part. Then I found him on MySpace, and then it was funny because I, I I finally was like I was lit. Now that I can say this, I was lit to meet him, and it was at the uh, that wrestle reunion. He wasn't wrestling. He was yes. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, like oh shit, you human tornado. I'm lit. I get to meet it or whatever. And he was just like, uh, I was like, oh damn, this nigga don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then uh, when I started wrestling, I was like, I saw him again later, and then he was cool as hell. I was like, oh damn, tornado cool, you know. Man. So, and I, I say that to say that, that, that you know you get people all their flowers while they're here. And, oh, yeah. You know, tornado, you are one of the, the African Americans in this business who who did something, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's a very it's a very good pleasure of mine to have you on here. So yeah, let's give it up for Tornado. Man. If I could just yeah. throw in a little something else, uh -huh. this man was the first man I ever met in pro wrestling. The very first show I ever attended, wow, ever in in the first time in any locker room ever was him and one of our, one of our uh, mutual friends, Biggie Biggs. Then those like, he that's what me and him go all the way back from that, dope, my man. first show. Yeah, I'm gonna So check this out. So. Let us know, man. Like I said, you, you said you might, you know, you got a lot going on. We got the, 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 the troll hair crack. Yeah, yeah, troll. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? You got so many stories, but what's going on now and the future? Future, uh, right now I'm retired. 
Mm -hmm. In the ring. Uh, as far as like outside <coughs> the ring, anything can happen. I mean, anything can happen. A lot of stuff's happened. I mean, a lot of changes like these masks and stuff. I mean, yeah, like you're saying. You just take that down to touch. No, 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 no. I don't want to take it down at all because it's like required. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when you get that, when you get requirements. <laughs> You gotta abide by these requirements and stuff. You know, stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and nobody wants that. Nobody wants stuff that happens. Bro, what do you feel about, like I said, the legacy you created? Like, you, like I said, you're such a humble guy. I know you, you never, you never had an ego. Everything, and you've wrestled. Like your career <coughs> is just stripes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, eh, some people don't feel that way. I mean, me personally. I just wanted to get in the ring. Mm -hmm. So, it lasted 15 years. That's beyond the blessing of mine because it could have lasted like one year, you know? And all it takes is like one second to get hurt in the ring, like without proper training. So, yeah. you got to do everything the right way. Okay, okay. Right way is always important, man. Yeah, yeah. But one thing you didn't know, Sean, is that before I went to training, I had lower back surgery. And that's what's pretty much caused my uh, retirement. Wow. Like, I'm still active. Like, I still have, like, energized to do stuff. But realistically, when you have lower back surgery at 18, you can only do so much at a yeah. certain period of time. So oh, we would never know. So, so, like, so him, him, just do, him just doing what he so did is, like, already. Yeah, whatever opportunity that popped up within the 15 years, like, I pretty much took it. Like, how anyone else would took it. But as, as far as, like, like, TV and stuff like that, like, that, that's pretty much, like, fans main concern concerns like they're kind of bitter like oh you didn't get a shot on tv and stuff like that blah 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 blah. it's like there's a lot of stuff that i did in like 15 years like a lot like a lot of cool stuff that pretty much is like similar to like anything you can like imagine today yeah so that's why I like i try not to like break their hearts about like certain stuff because it's all it's all this thing this was the way for the future for like all you guys Whack because like he he doesn't have to abide by it so much than you guys do, you know what I mean? So other than the TV, huh? All my stuff is virtually there in digital. That's I mean, not really tripping. Yeah, okay. you can only TikTok, bro. As far, as far as like money and like stuff like that, like other people's concerns, yeah. like that wasn't my main concern. My main concern was getting the break. And they coming out of Anaheim, learning Lucha Libre, like I still don't know Spanish. <laughs> man, I'd, 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 I'd be lying to you if I told you anything different, man. I don't know much yeah. of Spanish. I, I can do. I can tell you a lot of body language. I yeah. will tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know pieces of Spanish. Yeah, yeah bits and pieces, man. But. Stuff that I, I can honestly say the stuff I know in Spanish might not get me very far yeah. out, outside of wrestling. So PBA, um, you talked about a lot about you, and uh, like I said, you got a story background too. Tell us what's the future, what's going on, any uh, any updates, any projects, what's going on? Because you, you acting, wrestling. Yeah. I haven't seen you fight in a while. Okay, no, no, no. I'm retired from fighting. Yeah. You know I mean, uh, uh, I was uh, retired back in 2017. Okay. Uh, it was my last professional fight uh, was a Gladiator Challenge uh, promotion. Uh -huh. um, it's a California-based uh, regional promotion. Uh -huh. uh, it's a two-time champion, um, super fight champion, also uh, middleweight champion of the world. So I held two titles. Um, and those guys over there, Gladiator Challenge, you know, Ted Williams, senior and junior, like those dudes are class act, the whole family, the whole mm -hmm. promotion. Shout out to Gladiator Challenge. Um, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're competitive by nature, we're warriors, you know, we want to keep going as long as, you know, forever, but, you know, we also got to realize that father time is undefeated, you know, even in the professional wrestling industry, you know, hey, we can't keep going, you know, we put a lot of miles on our body, and, you know, I'm always, you know, looking for ways to diversify and to reinvent myself and to be the better version of myself, you know, by any means at whatever way possible, so, you know, wrestling, you know, uh, we haven't wrestled, you know, since UEW, since, you know, before COVID, shut, you know, COVID just came in and fucked the whole world up and shut you, everything down. I can know. tell you that date, man. It was yeah. December 29th, yeah, bro. You know, man, <laughs> right. So, you know, it's been kind of a void, you know, for me and for all of us or whatever, but um, same thing with MMA, but also too, 
you know, if the price is right, I'll, I'll go back and fight. You know, I actually called out uh, Tito Ortiz and Alberto Del Rio. Because I, I was approached to fight Alberto on a couple different occasions before they actually made the fight with Tito Ortiz, but he ducked me. And then he ended up fighting Tito Ortiz or whatever. And come to find out, that was a work. Didn't he get popped for sure? No, it, it, the whole situation was a work. And they both got suspended or whatnot because it found out it wasn't like a legit fight, basically, Alberto. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah, he threw yeah, the yeah. fight? Yeah. Man, I didn't even, to, but I didn't even know so nothing but, even if he didn't, but even if he didn't throw the fight, like, Alberto would have got trashed because he's not that good. And we can go back to the Pride days when he wore a fucking Lucha Libre mask. You know, when he fought against Prokop and he was known as Dos Caras, you know what I'm saying? And he got the shit beat out of him. It wasn't even a fight, you know what I mean? So, not to talk shit, but, you know, hey, Alberto knows his lane, and, you know, we could have had a hell of a fight, and I could have used the big payday well, for Combat Jam America or whatever, but never materialized, and, you know, so now I'm doing the acting thing. You know, uh, just did a recent independent project, you know, I'm IMDB, you know, that's popping. Auditioning a lot, doing stunts, everything else. So you know the future is bright. You know a lot, a lot, a lot of potential big projects, you know, coming down the pipeline, and just waiting for you know us to get the green light to get back into the ring, and we'll love to do that. You know what I mean? And then, but but definitely, you know, I'm constantly shaking and moving. You know what I mean? You know, I got, I got, I got kids, got the young man putting through college, I got a mortgage. You know what I mean? So, you know, hey, it, it's it's in the passion, it's in the blood. I, the right opportunity to prevent itself, I'm always ready to go at a, at a moment's notice, you know what I'm saying? But stay ready so you can stay, get ready. Stay, like sugar free, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, we're ready to go and we're looking to do big things. And not only so much, you know, just in the respective fields, but to take that and use those as platforms is important, you know, to reach back, help some miles cross over and to, you know, give to the up and coming generations after us or whatnot. You know what I mean? Because we, right. we got our time and they're the next generation. They're going to take it to the next level. That's and they're right. going to you know, reach back behind them and bring, you know, people, you know what I'm saying, with them and, and they protégés and the ones that's up and coming who really want it. They got the drive and the love and the passion for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dope, dope. So we dropped so many gems today, man. It is getting windy. It's getting cold AF. But we still out here chilling. Well, yeah, we're going to let everybody, we're going to close it out with uh, everybody around the table. If you want to give your social media, you want uh, all that good stuff. Let the camera know, and we will blast it. That's what we're here to do, support y'all. All right, you can find me on Facebook, just under Jason Hunt. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, under Definition of Pain. And, yeah. You can find me in MySpace. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't old like that. Like, even, <laughs> hey, man, I remember having a MySpace. You better take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get the definition of pain angry, y'all. Oh, okay. Um, no, the definition of my... My, oh my God. Uh, no, you can, you can follow me at uh, PBA Junior on Instagram and uh, Facebook of Jonathan Smith. If You know, a lot of people have trouble spelling it, but, like, if you find me, you find me. Or if you, you just don't. Google him, Jonathan Smith, Jonathan Smith oh, yeah, Wrestling. You can just Google like, a million pages of Google is, like, <laughs> in his name and honor. Ah. Like, uh, just make sure you spell it right. But you catch it. Right. Like Donovan, it for you. but with a J. Not like Donovan, hard. but with a J. All right, catch me now on Instagram at underscore active with a K and a three. And that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right. So I was on hiatus on social media for like a cool minute, or like a couple years. So uh, I just got back on the Twitter, and it's on the human. Tornado, that, that's, that's a long title. You use your imagination. Go ahead. You'll find me on there. It's pretty easy. You'll see my face and whatnot. Um, Instagram, yeah. Tornado underscore snowflake. That, that, that's that. Um, I got a YouTube YouTube channel. Just type in Human Tornado on the search. Uh, you should find that channel pretty easily. Um, oh, yeah. This, this, this is cool announcement. Um, you ever watch uh, Get High and Watch Wrestling? <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's with Ron Funches. Uh -oh. Ron Funches, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, because he trained his Ron Funches got a show. I'm going to be doing the, the, his podcast, Get High and Watch Wrestling, on uh, February 22nd. So watch it. So make sure you guys check that out on Twitch. You got a Twitch channel. Check out Ron Funches. Is, is your Instagram Snowflake? Or what? It's Tornado underscore Snowflake. Because I had Instagram only at, at the time I deleted all my social media. Wildness. <laughs> People want to show me things. Mm -hmm. But it's cool, I mean. I dig it. It's a whole world out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. That's it is. life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So, you know, I mean, catch me, uh, you know, Facebook, under Fernando Marrero. Uh, catch me on IG, at team underscore PBA. Uh, Google me, uh, Fernando Marrero MMA, Fernando Marrero BJJ, Fernando Marrero IMDB. Check me out on IMD, IMDB. You know, it's my whole filmography and all my credits, you know, my acting career and stunt career. Yeah, I got one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check me out on there. Also, check me out on my website, uh, www. The Fernando Marrero.com. That's the or the T H E Fernando Marrero.com. And uh, just check me out. You know what I mean? Come holler at me and we, you know, we're doing big things and we all about positivity and love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, make sure to uh, support us. Jason always puts the Venmo and all that to go by. Keep the show going. Uh, make sure to continuously, continuously support because everything counts. And remember, we woke from what we started and it's all because of you guys' donations. You guys help. Um, like and click subscribe on Amped Up Wrestling. We finally hit that. I think we had 200 almost. 200 subscribe. Hey, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's get to them thousands and all that, man. Y'all watching Takashi, what, 220 something million? And he doing do crazy that. stuff. Man. Hey, do man. The cheese slap. Yeah. I don't even, uh, I'm not uh, even. And uh, what's his name? Let's not do that. One of my favorites, where the money reside. Where the money reside. <laughs> Come on, man. We here. So like us, subscribe, and the rest. We do a lot of positive things. We ain't doing too much crazy viral stuff. But we are putting on, having good, just good vibes. Positivity, uh, entrepreneurs, wrestlers, musicians, DJ, whatever you got something going, that we're here to promote it. I am your host, the Urban Juggernaut, Sean Black. We are out. Peace. Hey. That's a wrap. <laughs>